Preparing for your retirement, whether you're 25, 65, something in between, how you plan can make or break how you live after work. While the economy continues to improve, people still may not be saving enough. KY3's Jay Schurter has tonight's contact, KY3. People took on debt. People dipped into their savings. When the recession hit, retirement savings took a hit as well. The people are behind um, and are not saving enough money. According to the Employee Benefit Research Institute, 28% of people right now are not at all confident about having enough money for retirement. You need to start planning. It's all about planning right now. While confidence levels are up since 2007, and people are better at saving and paying down debt, RLB financial advisor Robert Baltzell says it still may not be enough. Are they going to have health coverage from their employer when they do retire? Things like medical costs can drain a retirement account. They could spend up to $250,000 on medical costs in their retirement outside of Medicare and the supplement. It's not just a problem for baby boomers or people in their 30s or 40s. According to RLB Financial, a decade ago, 77% of young adults, including recent college graduates, thought seriously about saving for retirement. Now, that number's dropped to just 63%. So let's be honest, Social Security is in trouble. Uh, a lot of workers are thinking, is Social Security going to be there? And while the market continues to break records... A lot of folks are thinking that, is this market bringing the lamb to the slaughter? Having a plan can help protect you from any future turmoil on Wall Street. I think with somebody setting up their portfolio correctly, you will be able to weather that storm, whether you're 20 or you're 75. You know, we've beat this point several times, but a general rule of thumb, always contribute the minimum amount that your company will match on your 401k. If your company tells you to put in 6% of your check and then they'll match that or match half, always do it because it is free money and that opportunity doesn't come very often. Love free money. Absolutely. Give that amount or more. Or more. Or more. More is always better if you can afford it. Thanks, Jay. Jerry's just an overachiever.